Finally, the Letting Eleven series returns. Are you facing ridiculous teams and you're stuck with ones just like this? Well, look no further. Head over to u 7 buycom and get yourself some foot coins using the code NERDFIRE at the checkout for 5% off your order. It'll be linked in the description. They are cheap, safe and the most reliable. So make sure you go ahead and check them out and make your team better than ever. Okay boys, so today we are back with a brand new video and as you can tell by the title, we are finally back with the Letting Eleven something choose our foot champions team. We have not done one of these in a while. This is the first one of FIFA 21 as well. So if you guys do enjoy it, make sure you smash the like button, subscribe if you are new as well. And also what I want you guys to do is let me know in the comments what you'd like to choose my team next. And the most liked comment of an idea that is obviously doable will be used in a future episode, maybe even next Sunday. So yeah, today we are letting 11 of these Panini cards choose our foot champions team. This is a tin, basically. I've opened all the packs, so I actually can't show you the packs. Well, we've opened a load of these cards. These are the cards here. Big, big thank you to the people at Panini for hooking me up with a load of packs. The binder, that tin case, etc. A link to Panini will be in the top line of the description. Make sure you go ahead and check it out. Without them, this video wouldn't be possible. So a big, big thank you to them. So yeah, today we're opening up 11 of them. And basically the rules are for this episode that we can choose two players per pack to put into a squad, then build a team with. Also, they're all Premier League based. So chemistry shouldn't really be too much of an issue. Hopefully we just get some decent players and obviously I don't have the most amount of coins so so if you get loads of ridiculous players probably won't be able to buy them all but we'll try our best so yeah without further ado what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and get into the packs I actually recorded all the rest of this episode earlier so my kit's about to change as well so let's get into the packs and then I'll see you guys later okay so on to the packs as you can see right here Big, big thank you to Panini for sending me these out. And also, something different to last year when we did like the match attacks videos, I've got a second camera, as you should be able to see on your screen. So, it should be a lot better to see the packs for you guys as well. So, as you can see, we have got literally 11 of these packs to open up. It's going to be a load of fun. Hopefully, we can get some big pulls. So, let's get into the first pack. All right. First pack upcoming. Okay, obviously... I'm going to be looking down a lot because the packs are downwards. Um, there should be some special cards. There should be just obviously the average cards as well. So let's go through it. First one, Jake Livermore. Interesting. Douglas Ruiz, not a bad player. Oh, we've got the Premier League trophy. I can see a special card at the end. We've got the Liverpool FC. We're not going to be using them for players. We've got a Crystal Palace badge. And then... Oh! A Golo Kante. What a pull. Game breaker. N'Golo Kante, a really, really nice card, as you can see. And it's beautiful because I already have a meaning. I don't have to spend extra coins and we can chuck him straight into the team. Okay, so Kante is definitely going to be one I'm going to be taking from pack number one. But the choices alongside him is literally out of two. In Douglas Louise and Jake Livermore. And I think I'm going to go for Douglas Louise. So Douglas Louise and Kante from pack number one. All right, here we go. Pack number two. Let's open it up. And see how this goes. Okay, so I think we want to start from this side. I don't know. I don't know where we're going to start. We're going to start here. So our special card for this pack is Dan Byrne from Brighton. Interesting. We've then got Rodrigo. Not a bad CDM. Uh, Harry Winks. Not too bad. We've got a Liverpool forward. Roberto Firmino. Everton forward. Iwobi. And then also Mr. Patrick Bamford. Uh, I don't really know what I want to take from here. Uh, realistically, probably Firmino is a, a good option to take. Maybe Rodrigo as well. Um, yeah, I guess we'll go for there, out of that pack, these two in Rodrigo and Firmino. All right, pack number three. Hopefully my camera does not cut out at any point. It's low battery, which isn't great. I need to charge it up. 100%. Oh, we've gone straight to the back and seen the rare. Oh, there's two rares in this. We've got an elite behind it, which actually I think are good cards. I'm not sure, but I think they are. Okay, so Gundogan. Who's the elite card behind him? Oh, we've got an elite Firmino. Obviously, we've already chosen Firmino, so we don't actually need him for the actual FIFA terms. But that is a nice card to get. Um, and then behind that, we've got the Leicester lineup. We've then got Joe Willock. Well, my camera did actually just cut out. So the last two players of that pack, Fred. As you can see, that is not focused and Vydra. So, um, 
yeah, let me charge my camera. We'll get back into that and then choose the two players from that pack. Okay, so we are back. Hopefully the battery doesn't die, but if it does, I've got another one to charge, so we should just be able to switch it out and continue. But back onto the set we were on, as you can see, Fred, uh, Vydra, Willock. We obviously got that sick Firmino card and also Gundogan. So I think from this, once again, it's going to be a couple more centre midfielders in both Fred and Gundogan that we're going to take from that pack. All right, I think we are now on pack number four, I'm pretty sure. Um, so let's get it open. And oh my God, I turned it around. I missed the Daniel James Lightning card. Okay, very cool design. Just behind him, the Man United uh, badge. Then we've got the Newcastle lineup. Bruno! Oh, I think uh, I've got so many centre mids, but... It's hard not to take a Bruno. We've got another Man United player in Greenwood. And then out of Ireland. That is literally near enough just a Man United pack. I mean, how many Man United players have we got? We've got Greenwood, we've got Bruno, and we've got Dan James. I feel like I want to take, uh, I think, Dan James there, definitely, to give us a winger option. We could have took Greenwood, but I think Dan James and then Bruno. So from that pack, we're going to take Dan James and Bruno Fernandes. I do need to start getting some defenders though. That would be a good idea. All right, next one up. I think we're on like pack five, maybe? Four or five, one of the two. Um, oh my God, I've turned it around and it's another midfielder in Deli Alley, an elite Deli Alley. Okay, then behind that, we've got the Spurs lineup. Then we've got Robertson, probably will take him. Uh, then we've got Phil Bardsley. Then we've got Nemanja Matic. And then to end it off, oh, Musa Sissoko. Ah, oh, he's a good midfielder. He really is. I know I've already got about 15 of them, but he is a good midfielder. I think we've got to take definitely from that pack, Robertson. And then I guess we do take Sissoko. So from that pack, we're going to take both Robertson and Sissoko. Okay, so I believe this is pack number six. If you can show us some defenders, Panini, that would be nice. Oh, another Indolo Kante. Obviously, we've already got him. Atsu. Um... Might be a shout. Doherty. Did we take a right back? No, we haven't. We, we will take Doherty, actually. We will definitely take Doherty, I think. Jack O'Connell and Ollie Norwood Elite. Um, so from that, I think we're going to take Doherty and Atsu. Um, not that I really plan on using Atsu, but we do kind of need some more attackers. I mean, I think he's a midfielder slash attacker. So we will take them two from that pack. All right. Pack number seven. Come on, get. We need centre backs. I don't think we've had centre backs yet. At least I haven't selected any. Let's start from this side, and uh, we've got the Wolves lineup to kick it off, which obviously we can't really do anything with. We've then got Michael Keane. Probably gonna have to take him at this rate. We've then got Van Anholt. Obviously, we've got Robertson as well. We've got the Everton badge, and oh, we've got a golden baller. We have got a golden baller, Mohamed Salah. Wow, that is one of the best cards you can definitely get. Um, hundred in everything, as you can see, to uh, total of three hundred. Literally one of the best cards in the collections, Mohamed Salah, golden baller. Oh, I feel like I've got to take Salah. I don't think I have him, and he might cost quite a bit, but. Feel like we've got to take him realistically here. I mean, Salah and Michael Keane, I feel like, are going to be my two options there. We can't not take the golden baller. That is a that's a beautiful card. Okay, on to pack number eight. Also, still in search of a goalkeeper. So, if we see a goalkeeper show up, we're probably gonna to have to take him at this rate. Uh, like, it literally, doesn't even matter who else is in the pack at this rate. But here we go. First one up, we have got Stuart Armstrong, the Chelsea lineup. Oh, Fabinho, another good midfielder. The Brighton lineup and Martinelli Diamond card. Uh, I feel like once again, I'm going to have to take Fabinho here. I know it's another midfielder. We only got five cards in that pack, which is interesting. And then I guess we take Martinelli. So Fabinho and Martinelli, two Brazilians from that pack, we will take. But honestly, Panini, where are my goalkeepers at? This is not looking good in terms of goalkeeper-wise. I'm not looking forward to not having a goalkeeper. Please give me a goalkeeper for the first challenge of the year, I beg. All right, here we go. This is a bonus card. I assume it's just a badge once again. And uh, we'll find out. Yep. Uh, then we've got a defender in Engels. I'm not really too sure who he is. I'm not going to lie. Goodwinson, Romeu, and Edison. Oh, thank the Lord. I got scared. I got scared for a bit, but Edison comes in clutch. So Edison we will take, and I guess we take Engels as we don't have many defenders. So Engels and Edison are our selections from that pack. Thank the Lord we got a goalkeeper. All right, two more to go. Two more to go. All right, can we get any more big boys? That is the question right now. That is the question indeed. We've got Matthias Pereira, not a bad centre attacking midfielder. Uh, Nakamba, Milojevic, I don't know if I pronounced that right. Ooh, a Trent Alexander-Arnold. 
and Adam, and literally Millage of, uh, I'm not even going to pronounce his name again. We got him back to back, but then Arnold is not a bad one. I think we, I guess we take Trent. Do I want, um, let's just say Luca. Do I want Luca? Uh, obviously, his hero card we've got as well. Or do we take, I think we're going to take Pereira. Not that I need him. Actually, though, that is a thing. Okay, yeah, actually, you know what? We're taking. We're going to take Pereira and Arnold from that pack. All right, I would like a nice old centre-back from this pack. That would be beautiful. Okay, let's open it up. The final pack, pack number 11. Please give us a solid centre-back. Oh, my God, I think we've got a golden baller. We've got a gold... Let's start from this side. Let's start from this side. Okay, Joe Willock, the Chelsea badge. Defender, B, oh god, actually, it's Man United. There's not really many good centre-backs from United. And there's a leap person behind him as well. Maguire, oh, I might have to take him at this rate. We've got Ashley Barnes. <gasps> Virgil, Virgil van Dijk, surely. Oh, <laughs> golden ball of Virgil van Dijk. Okay, I feel like we've got to take him. I feel like we have to take him. I feel like he has to be one. And I guess we can take Maguire alongside him. So we've got two centre-backs to choose from. And then we've got, I think we've got Keane in there as well. So when it focuses, Van Dijk and Maguire, our last two selections. We asked for a centre-back and Panini delivered with a golden baller, Virgil Van Dijk. Okay, they're going to be our two from that final pack. So let's put them in the selection. And there we go. The packs have now been opened. So just to show you guys, these are all the cards that we chose from the 11 packs, some very nice ones, two golden ballers in Van Dyke and Salah. We've also got the game-breaking Kante, which is a very nice one. Diamond Martinelli, very nice card design. Diamond Trent Alexander-Arnold, Hero Gundogan, Lightning, Mr. Daniel James. Very, very nice selection, a good selection of cards, and hopefully this team can do well in Foot Champions. Okay, so now switching back over to FIFA, I'm going to go ahead and show you all the players that we got in them packs in a FIFA squad. So as you can see here, they all are on the, both the starting 11 and the subs and reserves. And one other issue before we actually get to building the squad is I actually can't afford all of the big time players like Salah and Van Dijk. If I wanted both of them, I wouldn't be able to. I don't have enough current coins. However, I've got a lot of players in tradable, as you may have seen there. But sadly, I won't be able to buy both Van Dijk and Salah and then the rest of the team that we need as well. So... It's going to be interesting. We're going to have to work around a little bit of a budget, but hopefully still building a very good team with the players we've got. So without further ado, let's get into building this team and let's see what we can come up with. Okay, so in terms of this team, we don't really have an overall striker. I mean, Firmino's are basically our only out-and-out -out striker. So formation-wise, I don't know what to play. I'm thinking maybe a 4-1-2-1-2 bracket 2, Kante CDM. Bruno Fernandes can, but we'd have to put someone up with Firmino at top. So, as we've only got Firmino as our only striker, maybe we try out the 4-2... Sorry, 4-3-2-1. So, Firmino as our centre forward slash striker. Then we've got Dan James, wherever he's at, on our right wing. Because I won't be able to afford Salah alongside Van Dijk. Left wing... We could then go for Martinelli. And then we've got a lot of midfielders to choose from. We've got, obviously, Bruno who can go in there. And then we can have Fabinho and Kante as well, solidifying that midfield. We've also got Fred, though. Fred's another good midfielder on this game. But if we work on the defence, Edison can go in goal. Hopefully, I should just be able to scrape enough coins for Van Dijk. And who do I partner with Van Dijk? I mean, we've got Maguire and we've got Keane. We've also got Sissoko, who we could possibly put at centre-back, or Fabinho. I'm tempted to play Sissoko at centre-back. Obviously, then bring in wherever Arnold is. Where's... um? Um, sorry, Robertson at left back and then Trent Alexander-Arnold at right back. And then by the time everyone's in the right position, we should have a decent amount of chemistry. Fingers crossed, he says. And hopefully I can actually afford these players. I don't know if I'll be able to at this rate. I might have to switch up a little bit more. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is going to go ahead and see if I can afford this team. And if I can't, I'll be back with you guys making a few changes. But if not, I'll be back with showing you the team in its full force. Okay, boys. So I've gone ahead and sorted out. Out the team so as you can see here it is on your screen now in goal we've got edison right back is arnold right center back is van dyke left center back is Sissoko. left back is robertson then left center mid bruno central center mid fabinho right center mid kante then left forward martinelli right forward james and then striker roberto firmino and then also like we always used to three subs on the bench we have got atsu maguire and Gundogan. So the team has now been bought for the first 
Letting 11 challenge video of this year on Foot Champions. We're going to play a game, obviously, of champs. It's going to be interesting to see how this goes. So let's go ahead, find ourselves an opponent, and I'll see you guys there. All right, so it looks like we found an opponent, and our opponent's team is... Not a bad looking Bundesliga squad. He's got Soma, he's got Lucas Hernandez, Alaba, and Babu, Rusalon, Royce, Emre Chan, Zakaria, Gnabry, Haaland, and Sane. A very solid team. Okay. All right. Our attack's not the strongest, but let's see what it can do against this guy's team with the Letting 11 Panini cards. Choose our team. Go play it in. Nice. Bruno. Drill. Martinelli. Cut back. Firmino. Kante. Dan James! Daniel James! He scores and he makes it 1-0! Daniel James helps us take the lead. That is beautiful. 1-0 up. Let's go. That's what we like to see. Firmino. Dan James. Dan James. Make a blistering run again. The pace. Back into Firmino. Oh, that is a beautiful ball. That is absolutely delightful. Firmino. Oh, he doesn't score regularly, so not expecting too many goals from him. Oh. Uh-oh. Van Dijk. Oh, Van Dijk's been sold. Oh, no. That's poor. That is really poor defending. And it's 1-0. That is not great at all. Oh, my God. Dan James. He's hit it over. How is he hit it over? What? No. We should have scored there. We should have scored that. That is ridiculous. Dan James. Dan James. Dan James, he's got another one. He has got another one. Daniel James makes it 2-1. Come on. All right. That's more like it, Dan James. Better than that shot you had earlier. Let's go. Oh, no. Trent. Oh, no. Oh, no. Leroy Sane's got some space here to work with. Leroy Sane's got some space to work with. Van Dijk is auto-slided in and didn't get it, but still not looking great for us here. Oh, my God. Why did Van Dijk auto slide in there? And it's 2 all. Oh, this is infuriating. He shouldn't have scored there. That's literally his first attack of the half. And it is 2 all. Oh, God. It's extra time. We definitely deserve to be winning here. The guy literally had one chance that half and scored. Oh, okay. We'll get into extra time and see what happens. Go. Dan James. Dan James. Dan James. Oh, Daniel James. Hat trick. Come on now, we've got to hold on to this lead. He's actually got a hat-trick. He should have scored four, but it doesn't matter. It's another beautiful goal there from Dan James. Let's go. Okay, come on. Dan James. Oh, what a ball from Trent. I just slated him, and he's put a lovely ball into Dan James. Dan James is going to whip it in. Bruno, it's a goal. How did that get through to Bruno? I do not know, but it is 4-2. Come on. Van Dijk. Oh, no, Haaland's been turned. Oh, Haaland's absolutely turned Van Dijk there. Oh, that's a good ball bin as well. Oh, that's a good finish. Thank God we are two goals in front. Thank God. Oh, there we go, boys. We managed to win. Oh, that was just horrible. We just didn't have the greatest of attack. Thank God we had a bit of pace in Dan James, who got us three goals overall. And then Bruno finishing it off at the end. Well, just before the end, before he scored, making it 4-3. But if we take a look at the match facts, as you can see, we had 10 shots to his six, seven on target to his six, 56% possession as well. But wow, that was a nervy game to say the least. But I'm glad we came through at the end and managed to win. But yeah, anyways, boys, that is going to wrap up today's video. A big, big thanks to Panini once again for hooking us up with all them packs that they did. Absolute legends. Like I said, it's a throwback once again, just like last year to what I used to do when I was a kid and collect these cards. If you want to check them out, they'll be linked in the top line of the description. Make sure you guys let me know in the comments any future challenges you guys would like to see as well. But yeah, guys, anyways, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you did enjoy the video. And I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye. <laughs>